Paula Dean. Mm mm mm. Miss Dean, what a shame. Show. Ah. Oh. Oh. The way. What's up, everybody? Give me some room, man. Give me some room. Get the fuck up off me. Paula Dean. She's in the news. Y'all know who Paula Dean is, right? Is that one with that nice, sweet southern voice cooking all them delicious meals? It's that sweet old white lady that's been on the Food yeah. Network for a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But let me tell y'all what happened while she's in the news. Yeah. It's not because she got a new great recipe. <laughs> she done <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> this is what happened. An a past employee of hers yeah. suing her for discrimination. Can you believe that? That sweet little old lady look like someone's grandma, but she got all kinds of grandkids. Suing her for discrimination, it turns out this employee claims she used the N-word a lot, her and her brother, yeah. in the workplace. And also she made it known that for her brother's wedding, she would like to have a plantation style wedding. That's yeah. where all the waitresses and the waiters yeah. gonna be black. Yeah. Okay, and dressed up in nice white touches like back in them slave days. Yeah, with a bow tie. She thought it would be great to have that kind of wedding for her brother. Yeah. Yeah, she thought that. And Paula, she went to the uh, deposition. Yeah. You know, because she's getting fucking sued. You gotta testify when you're getting sued. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She said, yeah, she used the N-word all the time. And she said, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah, and nonchalant about it, like it's no big deal. Yeah. And she did also confess that she would like to have a plantation style wedding for her brother. She thought it would be awesome. Yeah, she yeah. wouldn't. She, not only was she talking about black people, she was talking down to Jews. Yeah, she was talking down to some, you know, blacks and Jews. But yeah, whatever. And she came out with this. <laughs> Apology video. Check it out. Hello, y'all. I'm Paula Dean. I was invited this morning to speak with Matt Lauer about a subject that has been very hurtful for a lot of people. And Matt, I have to say, I was physically not able this morning. Uh, the pain has been tremendous that I have caused to myself and to others. And so I'm taking this opportunity now that I've pulled myself together and am able to speak to offer an apology to those that I have hurt. I want people to understand that uh, my family and I are not the kind of people that the press is wanting to say we are. Uh, I've spent the best of 24 years to help myself and others your color of your skin, your religion, your sexual preference does not matter to me, but it's what in the heart, what's in the heart, and my family and I try to live by that. And I am here to say I am so sorry. I was wrong. Yes, I've worked hard and I've made mistakes, but that is no excuse and I offer my sincere apology to those that I have hurt and I hope that you forgive me because this comes from the deepest part of my heart and I will continue to work and continue to do good things for good people Thank you for, for listening. Too late, Paula. It's a little bit too late for that shit. Yeah. Food Network and came back and said, get the fuck out the way. Yeah. Find your ass. Too late, man. It's a damn shame because, man, you a part of why that network is so big, man. They forgot about you like yesterday's newspaper, man. Yeah, but you put them in a bad position. Yeah, and it was really an easy position for them to you know take you know yeah. you can't be a part of something that's you know so negative as the n-word yeah man yeah can't do it can't do it but you know what I'm it seemed in your apology video that you're you're very sorry for what you did yeah 
But see, the thing is, it took you losing everything. Yeah. Well, not everything. Yeah. But it took you losing a lot to come to this point and apologize. Yeah, which you know what makes, saying? you know, a lot of people think you're just doing this to save your ass. Yeah, to save your face. Know? If you really felt so bad about what you did, you would have never said that those things. Or you would have came out and made that apology video without any of this coming to life. Before this deposition. But yeah. But it is what it is. Live and learn, I guess. Yeah. Good luck, Paul. Over find a new job and all. Man, I really sincerely hope everything works out for you. And I, it comes from deep down in my nigger heart. Yeah. Good luck. Bitch. <laughs>